Hello and welcome to the March 2022 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. Daylight saving time begins on March 13th. The time change means there's an extra hour of daylight in the evening since the sun sets an hour later than the previous day. There are no bright planets in the evening sky this month. To the southwest, the sky is filled with the bright stars and constellations of the winter. Each evening, the winter constellations migrate slowly towards the west. Orion, Taurus, and Canis Major begin to set just before midnight mid-month. This picture, taken last month, shows the three winter constellations near the western horizon close to midnight. With the winter constellations moving towards the southwest, we turn our attention to the constellations of spring. Hydra, the water snake, is the largest constellation in the night sky. It spans over 100 degrees in the sky from north to south. Hydra consists of many faint stars and is best seen under dark skies. Its brightest star is Alphard. Two faint constellations rest above Hydra. They are Corvus the Crow and Crater the Cup. Here is an image of Hydra rising in the southeast. Leo the Lion is much easier to see. The lion's head looks like a backwards question mark, with a triangle of stars representing its hindquarters. Virgo the Maiden looks like a letter Y. Its brightest star, Spica, is at the bottom of the Y. Here is the connection to the rest of Virgo, made mostly of faint stars. The visibility of the spring constellations in the southeast in the evening sky heralds the arrival of spring. The vernal equinox occurs on March 20th. At the time of the equinox, the sun is located exactly on the intersection of the celestial equator the Earth's equator projected into the sky, the Sun's path, the ecliptic, and the zero-hour right ascension line or longitude in the sky. From Los Angeles, the Sun is 56 degrees above due south at local noon. The vernal equinox marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and the start of autumn in the southern hemisphere. Looking south, the early morning sky is divided between the stars of spring to the southwest and the stars of summer to the southeast. At this time, Virgo has drifted to the southwest. Above the star Spica is the bright orange star Arcturus in the constellation Buotes the Herdsman. Scorpius the Scorpion begins its journey to the south. The bright red star Antares represents the heart of the Scorpion. Low in the southeast is Sagittarius the Archer. It looks like a teapot when its brightest stars are connected. Rising in the southeast is the brilliant planet Venus. Close to it, and much fainter, the red planet Mars. Three planets are visible in the pre-dawn sky this month. Saturn has emerged from the bright glare of the sun. Venus and Mars are four degrees apart on the 16th. On the morning of the 28th, a beautiful sight. The 26-day-old waning crescent moon is below the trio of planets, Saturn, Venus, and Mars. Saturn and Venus are about two degrees apart. Our moon phases this month. New moon is the second, first quarter is the 10th, full moon is the 18th, last quarter is the 24th, and it's new moon again on the 31st. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio.